guys, it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm here to share with you a project I made, and this is for the New Year's Eve hop, and what I made was an explosion box, so I had the explosion board after watching Michelle do so many amazing tutorials on it, I went ahead and picked one up, but unfortunately I never had the opportunity to go ahead and make one, so I decided for the New Year's Eve hop that I would go ahead and make this because this is a new technique for me because I have never made one before. So I went ahead and made this little guy. Super cute with all the paper. So I did use the Snowman and Friends paper. And this is the 8x8 I used because the boxes are small. The larger paper would be too big for this. So I did go ahead and use the 8x8 as well as the cut aparts that come in the 12x12 12 12 size. So these were cute enough and I went ahead and added them to it. And then I used pop dots to, as you can see on the side there, to go ahead and pop up some of the fun tags and stuff on the box. This guy right here. I just left that alone because I cut out, I fussy cut out this guy so I could use him on that one. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the first layer. So I know my camera's not exactly picking up the greens because they're a little brighter than what they are, but this paper is absolutely stunning. <clears throat> so for the first layer, I went ahead and what I did was when I did make my boxes, I just angled it. I wasn't going to go for anything super fancy. It does come with a set of hearts, not sure what I do with them, but there's some hearts, um, you'll see in some of Michelle's tutorials, she had the hearts that she used to cut out, but I wasn't really sure if the hearts were going to really work so well with the snowman paper, and I kind of like the idea of just making it, keeping it nice and clean, so I went ahead and did that, and there's room for two photos, you can always add more photos, but I wanted to really showcase the pattern paper. <clears throat> So then we go ahead to the next layer. And again, all the pretty paper. Another room for two more photos right here. I did go ahead and pop up one of the tags because it kind of matched. It was cute. And I was trying to give it a little bit of dimension. I know like the way the box is made, it doesn't really give you a lot of room when things fold up kind of like that. So I went ahead and just popped on some of the covers just to kind of give it a little, little something, make it cute. And then over here on this one, I went ahead and cut. So instead of angling this next layer, I went ahead and just cut to make more photo mats. And they just open up all the way around, just like that. And then go to the next one. Just like that and again another little popped up tag thought it was super cute just like that and then on this one some more so what I did was when I was adding my photo mats and stuff I kind of was going opposite so I have the photo mats here but on the bottom layer I have them right here so you could almost look at them Kind of like that you could get all four of them but i kind of staggered them around just to kind of give a neat little effect and everything to it and then this next layer so for this layer here i went ahead and did little photo mats that kind of flop out a little bit kind of like that <laughs> just that angle right there that looks so cool and so i went ahead and did that and so for the bottom layer, I actually went over to the dollar store after work and I wanted some kind of small little snowman guy. So I wanted to put something in the bottom box, but I didn't really know what. So, boop. so what I did was I found some little Christmas minis and the little snowman with the Santa and then the little Christmas tree right there. So I just kind of put a cute little... Christmas scene in there. Isn't that cute? So right, you can see all the fancy layers. It kind of looks really neat with it all just kind of folded up like that. Super fun. 
anyway so we did you know, like i said we did something where we were going to do techniques and something we hadn't done before and i've been wanting to make an explosion box i just haven't had the opportunity to so i thought well this is a perfect time because michelle has a bunch of amazing tutorials and because work has been so crazy i didn't actually have to film a tutorial and i can just link you down to all of michelle's tutorials and I could just go ahead and make this fun little explosion box. And then by adding the little pop-up pieces, just kind of gives it a little something, something different. And you have a little bit of room so you can see like the pop dots I used. Like it just comes right up to the edge of that. And then that fits on just nice. And my photo flaps. And then these ones fold up. And this paper is super pretty. If you haven't gotten it yet, I highly recommend picking up the Snowman and Friends paper. Because it is super cute. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. I wasn't going for the Christmas look on it. But then when I found the little snowman and the little Santa at the dollar store, I thought, oh, that's super cute. So... I went ahead and added the little Santa guy. I could have just left it with the snowman. However, my front of my little guy says Merry Christmas. So I went ahead and put the Santa in there with the tree. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this little cute little project. And like I said, I will leave a link down to Michelle's tutorials down below. I hope you get inspired by some of the projects that you see on this New Year's Eve pop. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.